Hello Scorpio, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Okay, Scorpio, so I just want to clear the energy really quick. Okay. Scorpio. So I have your coffee cup right here. I'm going to pull tarot and oracle. But first, I when I drink the coffee, I write down the images that I see. I want to talk to you about it really quick, okay? So, <coughs> first thing I saw, four-leaf clover. There's some kind of fortune here that is coming to you. And this is like being favored by God, being because God created the four-leaf clover and to find one this is like whoa this is a great fortune that you have found one um there's a huge presence in the entire reading of god of the secrets of god of source of the universe of a higher power um you know whatever you believe in okay um which is beautiful so let's see First, I thought I saw a flame, but it quickly changed into a teardrop shape. It could be something that gets a little bit of, there's a rush of anger, um, and then this turns to some kind of um, deep emotions. And this teardrop signifies shared emotions. It represents um ancient gods and sacred beliefs here so there there's something really amazing going on here things are shifting in your life where there was anger there is compassion there is understanding there is a healing and very quickly there is going to be tears of joy and this is very important where you surround yourself if you surround yourself in jewels then this is tears of joy. This is luxury. This is amazing. This is wonderful. So there is ways that something is transitioning very quickly and you get to decide where this is going to end and where this is going to like stay. Are we going to stay a long time in this anger period? Are we going to stay a long time in this teardrop, in this uh, sorrow energy? Are we going to stay a long time in this sacred beliefs here are we going to stay a long time in it being tears of joy in the jewels you know what are you going to surround yourself with so there could be ways where you know you it's like i already have jewelry and i have it up put away but if you put this around everywhere and then you feel this luxury you know uh there's simple little things that you can do that can set this environment for what is this transition going to be right so there's something here about people in your life and they don't understand some kind of ancient knowledge that you have, sacred gods or something. Maybe you're, you are finding out that you have this um, ancient civilization that with their beliefs that you were a part of. And there's other people in your life and you're like, they were the opposers. I see this now. And there is something here that you could be um, kind of uncovering in your life. And maybe you were living in a way that is not in alignment with who you really are. And making these little shifts, making these little changes um, is going to really take off and is really going to grow a very quick transition because this teardrop then became a tree. So trees, you know, represent like the tree of life and how are we going to live here? How are we, where are we going to plant our roots here? So there's something about this time of like surrounding yourself in jewels and crystals and gold, you know, and then you just, you know, it's like if you put money everywhere, then you just feel so abundant. If you put pictures up of love everywhere of examples of love in your life, well, then this is going to amplify love. But if you put pictures up of people that betrayed you, this is, you know, setting a different stage here. Uh, so then I saw a vulture, which represents also just like um, embracing change. Uh, there could be something here that you're seeing that the environment that you were in is against you. 
and other people may not see this because they are not awakened, that they are actually against you here. This is reminding me of this show on Disney Plus where this is um, uh, Once Upon a Time. And it's like everybody's under a spell and they don't realize that, oh, this is the evil queen and this is Snow White. <laughs> and you're like coexisting and it's like surface level happy, but it's not real happiness. And you wake up and you realize that's the evil queen, you know? That's why they're behaving this way. That's why they're against me and they don't realize it, you know? There could be something here about that. So there's something here about a change that you're thinking about, you could be back and forth about, that requires a signature. Your signature on it and it's not solidified until there is a signature. So there is something about looking into something and realizing that you can look into it and you don't necessarily have to sign right away. You can always back out, but there is something about looking into something. I saw the letters M and P, so that could um, be something important for you. That could be initials of somebody or something. Um, there's something here that you're thinking that you lost, uh, that you misplaced and you could be very upset about something something sentimental here or just something that was high value here of like money or something but you didn't you're going to find it okay um then i saw the hierophant close up which is so interesting because the hierophant represents the bridge between the divine and between us here in this world and there is something here about ancient wisdom there's something here about this fortune that God is bestowing upon you because of these changes that you're willing to make, because you're choosing to embody who you truly are and not seeing that there were other people that were opposing you, that were trying to keep you in this delusion that you're not what you actually are. And so this is you embracing that. And this can also be a different authority figures in your life. Um, this could be... Um, a person in spirit or this could be a person just like in your life that is some kind of a, a masculine energy authority figure where you're going to see them coming towards you in a different way or you're going to attract positive of that where you have only been attracting negative of that that's going to change so let's see about this now because this is very interesting the hierophant also represents a divine union here so this can also be about love. And the Hierophant is still here. Right here. This is the hat. This is the face. This is the body. This is before him. And this is something that's like cannot be seen and there is like a book that he's holding and looking at and then there's things that cannot be seen here by other people but the hierophant can see this there is something here where you may have a spiritual experience or you may have something that you can see that other people cannot see that you understand that other people cannot a knowingness can be a lot of different things somebody here with their back turned to that there is a person that the more you delve into your spirituality into your spiritual energy uh, you're becoming more and more of who you are and there is a greater distance between you and this person and this will continue this will continue this will continue to grow So that's very interesting. Okay, let's see what else we got here. You could hear about a lot of different people here that are going back and forth with each other. They talking to this person and they talk about that person. Then they go to this person and they're talking about that person. And they're talking about this person. They're talking about that person. There's a lot of little clicks that are just gossiping and gossiping and it feels like you're best to just stay risen above this and not get involved in any of this a little bit lower even than that there is like uh i see a crab here in the bottom of your cup okay right here this is a little that's a little dot and that's the arms that's the arms this is a little crab here that wants to remain hidden here there could be a way 
that there is a wish that you made. And seeing this experience in a different way can help this wish fulfillment come true. This could be an experience with a cancer person. This could be an experience that is occurring right now in cancer season. There is something here that you may feel unstable about, unsettled, because you're standing on a crab that's not very settling, right? So there's something here about this is going to change. And seeing this as a wish, because now the, the crab has transformed into like a genie. So there is a wish that is going to be granted, but it's very important that where you're standing, you see it in a different way. Right now, it could be where you're standing right now. Seeing this as an opportunity for beautiful change to happen because the rest of your cup, there is a little bit of stuff here, but the rest of your cup is blank. So this is saying that there is endless possibilities that can happen. There's a lot of really beautiful things that can happen and that you are in control of. So this is a time for you to be very excited. This is a time for you to realize that there is nothing that you cannot overcome. There is a lizard here at the bottom. And this lizard, you know, lizards, you can bite their tail and they will run away and they will still live. So there is something here that you're regenerating from and this is something that is going to be really amazing here this is something that is going to be unlimited abundance there's only stars in the sky that's the only thing that i see now so when you're choosing to see past in front of you this is like smoke and mirrors this is like it looks like something is impossible to get past and there's like a person behind like a cloak here and they're like making things more difficult than what it is and this could be multiple areas of your life this is happening this could be with family there's people that are making a big problem where you see there's actually nothing there but they're putting on a screen of this is a problem this is a problem and to them it may very well be a problem but for you it doesn't have to be and that's the thing is your life is different than other people's and people do not see that. There is a loyalty. Some people have loyalty to you, but they still, it would not be in your best interest to keep these people around. And that just is what it is. You have to do what you have to do here because there is something here that is going to change for you. And this could involve meeting a new person, okay? Because when you're healed from this transformation, then there's another lizard here. So this is a new opportunity with a new person. And this is a person who has also gone through some kind of a change. So let's see this. Yeah, there, there's a change here because, okay, so now this is like a bear, okay? Bears represent your ancestors, okay? So there is some kind of a change ahead of this person, ahead of this bear, and it would be better to just go through the storm here. And it doesn't really matter if you want to rest and then go through the storm or if you're going to go away from the storm, the storm is going to chase you and eventually you'll have to go through it. Or if you just go directly through it, there is something here where it doesn't really matter what you do. You're going to get through this. And that's what your ancestors want you to know during this time. Um, you could meet a person that they are going through a very difficult time in their life and there's emotions. This is like now this drops of water come or tea of coffee coming out of here. This is like the teardrop that I saw. There is a person that is releasing a lot of emotions at the time that you meet them. And then there is a way that you and this person can click, can bond, can connect. And I'm seeing two owls here. So this is your intuition. There's a heart. <laughs> How beautiful is that little heart right there? Yeah. You're on a journey of love and this could be you and a person you're already with that are going to rekindle in such a beautiful way. Um, but I feel like for most of you, it's a new person. So, wow, there, there's love here. There's love. Your ancestors are guiding you towards love. Spirit God is guiding you towards a beautiful uh, life of love. Look at simplicity here. It's time. You have release and then simplicity. 
So you're releasing something and it feels maybe like it's so difficult. It's it's going to be easy. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be so simple. There's something here that you think is going to be difficult. It's not going to be difficult. It's going to be so much more simple. And it's, I just saw standstill at the bottom and standstill. And then there was, um, look at the truth. Something, something you, you see here, the truth. And you see that something is just, it's not right. And this is why it's at a standstill. It's not growing. And things keep happening over and over and over again. Uh, so let's let's see more about this. Okay. Okay. Inner peace. And what else do we get here? Blessings. I'm telling you. Inner peace and blessings. Wow. 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 You have the cob web protected from negative forces beyond your control. Yeah. Releasing something and a lot of change is going to come in for you here. You have the hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally here. Yeah, there could be something that you need to take a break from. You need to, I had a feeling this was going to come out. The spear, heartache over what you no longer have. There's something here you're releasing. You have to release. And there could be some kind of a fear to let this go and then what's going to happen to you. This is spirit saying you're being protected. Time to go out and have fun here. And money path, okay? A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Look at this. And this goes on top of what? Blessings. There are blessings here for you. There is fortune here for you, okay? Um, and it's okay for you. It's it, There's something here about time to be doing something relaxing, doing something where you're like, it's simple, it's easy. They're simple, it's easy. Something like that kind of an energy, going out and having fun kind of energy. It's very important to, to do that because there's something here that, you know, you're moving away from. You're having to leave behind and there is a fear of what's going to go wrong and thinking and thinking and thinking of all the things that could go wrong. So the more you can go into this energy of just simple, just laying in a hammock, you know, just watching the sky here, going and looking at a pond of water here, doing anything fun here, very quickly you're going to see that there's so many blessings and there is so much abundance that is coming into you that you're you're going to be not even just taken care of, not even just restored what you have lost, but tenfold. So much more than what you could have ever imagined. This unsuccessful love situation that has been your past over and over and over again, this heartache, you're going to meet someone that is so amazing. Look at this adaptability. Somebody that is not drowning in their emotions and pulling you down with them. You know, spears were used to, you know, hunt sea creatures. You know, you're a sea creature here. So there, you, are you hanging out with people that were fishermen and you're a sea creature? You know what I'm saying? There's something here about that. And then there is some kind of adaptability. There is a person here that understands you. And they understand how to navigate life. And didn't I say like there, there I saw in the cup, a person was standing on a crab. Now this is a person standing on another person, okay? But it looked exactly like this, the body and then like the arm and the arm. That's how it looked. What the heck? Yeah, it's right here. That is a person and they're standing. The person standing. What? You're learning this adaptability in such a profound way. And because of this, everything is going to become so simple. 
And isn't this, this is also the same shape as like the hammock here of just being adaptable, seeing something during cancer season in a different way, an experience with a cancer person in a different way, in a way that is simple, in a way that is easy, in a way that is relaxing, in a way that is, there, you're carefree, you can handle anything. Something is happening here. Something is happening here. If you're thinking about doing something that would just be simple as far as your mental state, you know, this is saying to do that, to go forth and do that and realize that there is nothing that you cannot handle here, that you are actually very adaptable and you can adapt to this change here. Wow. This is Shut up! This is the Hierophant close up. Authority figure. I said that. Right here. This is the face and this is the hat. The face and the hat. This is like... The face is right there. There's the eye. And this is the outline of the hat. Like, what the hell? <sighs> There's something here. Okay. This is a Capricorn card. Is this an authority that you're standing up to? Is this a new authority that is entering your life that is going to help you make things so much easier? Is guiding you. This could be a new spirit guide. This could be a loved one that passed on. You yourself are understanding this bridge between this earth and the divine. And this takes being able to balance both this adaptability. You know, okay, you have caution here and you have versatility. There is, you know, the, the Hierophant has the secrets of the divine, you know. There's something here. And you're, you're moving towards your inner peace. So when things get hectic and crazy to remind yourself that this is not yours to engage in. This is reminding me of the, all of the people and the little clicks, all of these little people in this little clicks. And it says caution. And this person is putting their hand up like, I don't need to get involved in this. No, 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 no. There is something here about your inner peace is number one. And remembering that. Remembering that. Wow. This is going to be very amazing here. Birth. You're giving birth to something new here in your life. And that's what this is talking about. This is talking about change coming in for you and new blessings, fortune coming in for you here. This could be a family. This could be a child as well. And look where she's standing here. It's like very interesting. She's standing like on the rocks. Oh, she's kind of kneeling. There's something here you're giving birth to. This is a cancer card. You have companionship here. So there's gonna, things are changing here for you. There is time of indecision. You're going to get through this time of indecision because you're becoming this. Oh, I thought it was four leaf clovers. It's not. It's not. Kind of looks like it. Okay. I almost freaked the fuck out. Um, there's something here. Okay, let's get tarot, right? Let's get the tarot. Let's see about this adaptability, okay? Because I want to understand this. The sudden opportunity. You could suddenly think to do something. 
that you have to release things to do this. And there could be heartache because you're, something is definitely done now. But it's good. It's a good thing to be done with. It's a good thing to be done with conflict. Yeah. This is the five of wands. There's a back and forth. There's a back and forth. Look at this. 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 And you're the hierophant. And there's all of these people around you that are coming to you with all of these problems, all of these problems, all of these, all of this kind of stuff here. And this is this caution. Okay. And this is the authority card here. I knew Hierophant was coming out. I knew it. I knew it. This Hierophant doesn't fit in with these people. Doesn't fit in with this person. Doesn't even really fit in with these people. But there are people that will celebrate your wins that you will find. But there's a lot of other people getting involved in this. And this is about you. Your adaptability to be able to move out of these kinds of situations. It could be a person that has their eye on you, yeah, and suddenly you find this out. Suddenly this is what you're finding out. Wow. You have the Eight of Wands here. There is a message that you're going to be getting. Some kind of a message. It can be a message of caution because I feel like you have a spirit guide that is watching out for you. There could be some kind of a communication. Something is going to be shown to you. Something is going to be revealed to you. And this is just another confirmation of signature. Some kind of change to make things more simple for you. Something for you to solidify, something new for you to go and plant seeds in that are going to grow very quickly. Something new that you're going to engage in that's going to create a lot of stability here for you during this cancer season. That, that's an opportunity. This could be something. Look at this. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. This is everything. This is everything. This is not say money path. There is a path of money waiting for you to find it. Blessings, birth, wow, that's everything. You have Ten of Swords. I'm trying to see anything else. I see the truth in this ending. There could be something here where this is like, hey, if you don't want this to grow again, you're going to release it with peace. You're going to release it with love. You're going to release it with kindness here. I see the truth in this ending. And the truth in this ending is I don't belong here and that's that. There's something about that. With this spear here, this reminds me of like Luca. Uh, the movie on Disney Plus, Luca, where there are fishermen and they're fighting. And they're, you know, attacking uh, the fish people. And Luca is a fish person. So this is like, whoa. You know? There's something here that uh, you can't continue. You know, if the people of that town didn't come to love Luca... Uh, and they were still trying to throw spears at him, then it, that would not be a good place for him to stay here. So there is something here about that, that there is some kind of adaptability that needs to take place. There's some kind of a change that needs to take place. Following your intuition during this time of change is going to lead to uh, a person stepping forward with feelings for you. Somebody coming forward with feelings for you. And this is a person that wants to heal things. 
They want to heal things. They want to heal you. They take honor and pride in being a compassionate person and being a kind of person. They could have had like a single mom growing up or something and it really matters to them how they treat people. Uh, or a single father, it doesn't matter which way it is, but there's something here where they grew up in a situation where there was no healing it, where somebody didn't have a partner that was healing. And this person, they want to be healing. They want to be a healing person. They want to be a person that puts a place for inner peace to exist here. I am sure of my place in the world. This is a person who has established themselves and they are 100% invested. That's why they are coming forward. They are already fulfilled. They don't need anything from you. So whatever it is that you do, it just adds to happiness. Their own inner peace doesn't depend upon it. So you're seeing a person that is a bridge that comes forward. They're a bridge between reminders of things that are familiar to you but this person is not like those familiar people because they are in touch with their divine feminine side uh and divine masculine it's like justice it's like a balancing of the two sides here that's coming forth this person has a wisdom and they will listen to different sides of things They have like an open um, mindset here. And this is a person that is very driven. They're very focused. They want to create beautiful things in their life. Yeah. This person um, will come forward and let you know that they are interested. This is not a person that you're going to wonder how it is that they feel about you. This is a person that when they're dedicated to something, they're dedicated. When they're dedicated to someone, they're dedicated. They include you and you know this. And this is somebody who wants to make something official. You know, this is a person who wants to move in a direction and build something. That's just who they are. They're a provider. They're a person that they want this. They want the stability and they know how to create stability for themselves. And they want to cre create stability alongside somebody else. So this is a very beautiful change here because I feel like before it was all, you know, uh, just very mysterious energy. You never got to the bottom of anything because everything was a battle and everything was being hidden and being hidden and being hidden because they were hiding things from themselves that they didn't want to face. And this is a lot of different situations and scenarios here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Scorpio, well, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. If it did and you want to like and subscribe, that would be awesome.